Buffalo, New York is famous for wings, bills, and cold weather. It's also where Joseph John Nichter Jr. was born and spent most of his childhood. Joe's father was a Pearl Harbor survivor and Purple Heart recipient. He and his wife Amy were married for 56 years until Joe Sr.'s passing in 2003. At an early age, Joe Jr. got a taste for the American West. Twice while he was in elementary school, his parents moved their young family to California in search of better opportunities in warmer weather. But both times, they returned home to Buffalo, where Joe would grow up and live until 1980. Through school and college, Joe worked a variety of jobs. He was a snowplow driver, a carpet installer, a carpenter, an electrician, and even a bookkeeper, setting the stage for a successful career in skilled trade management. In 1969, Joe was drafted and joined the Army National Guard, attending boot camp at Fort Polk in Louisiana. Following his stint in the service, Joe returned to school, graduating from Erie Community College with a diploma in heating and air conditioning. He chose heating and air conditioning because of his love for all things mechanical, not realizing at the time that it would be his personal leadership skills that would take him farther in the industry than he imagined. Joe started his HVAC career as a counter salesperson with a Buffalo wholesaler distributor called Sid Harvey's. A year later, he was store manager. Shortly after that, he accepted a position as service manager with Seneca Environmental Services. In 1977, Buffalo was hit by a deadly blizzard, which shut the region down for several days, cost several people their lives, and to this day, remains infamous in Buffalo as one of the worst storms to ever hit the area. Joe and his family made it through the blizzard, but it made them stop and think, maybe it's time to look back to the West. After a short business trip to Arizona, Joe decided it was time to move, and in 1980, he and his family set off for Phoenix, Arizona. In Arizona, Joe left the HVAC industry for a time taking a job in inside sales for an industrial manufacturer. Then, in 1982, he became an energy engineer for the Greyhound Corporation. He traveled the U.S. conducting energy surveys of all that company's holdings, including airport facilities, exhibition halls, restaurants, and bus terminals. But Joe had enjoyed his work as a service manager in New York, and in 1984, he was offered the opportunity to return to contracting at Tri-City Mechanical. It was there he found his career calling. He went from service manager to operations manager to general manager to vice president and finally president in 1997 when the company was purchased by Comfort Systems USA. Over the last 27 years, Tri-City, now known as Comfort Systems USA Southwest, has grown from $3 million to a 2008 peak of $110 million in annual revenues. During his high school years in New York, Joe met and fell in love with a classmate, Pam. They started out as high school sweethearts and grew into lifetime partners. Together, they raised a son and a daughter. And in 2010, Joe and Pam celebrated 38 years of marriage. They have three grandchildren with another on the way. Joe is an avid bird hunter and golfer who loves spending time with his family at his cabin in Flagstaff. Joe first learned of the power of ACCA in 1996 when he attended an ACCA conference and learned a better way to determine the true cost of labor. He took what he learned back to his company and put it into practice for immediate results. From that point on, Joe became a committed ACCA supporter eventually accepting the opportunity to serve on the association's National Board of Directors, where he has helped lead the organization's growth in the last decade. An advocate for change and innovation, Joe helped lead the process of a new constitution revision and played a key role in the development of ACCA's strategic plan. Today, Joe Nichter believes the HVACR contracting industry is uniquely positioned to take advantage of new opportunities in building systems, energy management, and advanced technology. And he believes ACCA is uniquely positioned to help contractors seize those opportunities. 
He is committed to steering the organization toward its vision to be the essential partner for contractor excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the chairman of the Air Conditioning Contractors of America, Joe Nichter.